So let's briefly go over the tree view and uh, also we'll hit one of the you know quick people soft uh, report to showing one pointer to one of the general ledgers that we have. So let's go ahead and first in the tree view and let's choose our report. Let's choose tree view as the grid. The million row data set that we've been using in some of these demos, let's use this data set. Let's go ahead and pull say account quantity. We can pull perhaps a description and a trade date in. And let's see. Let's have this information reflect. And this is all real time that we're pulling this information back from the, uh, the data rocket cell. And then after this comes back, what we'll do is we'll add a numeric measure aggregate. And you can see here is the data, quantity, different symbols that are available, just your basic tree view, but we break everything down. If I go down the list, you'll see all the different symbols that we've chosen. Let's take a look farther down. And then let's go ahead and we'll dynamically, let's drop in net as an aggregate, so we'll do this aggregation real time. And we'll pull from the same tree and now we're aggregating uh, by the account name itself, so you'll see the values. And then also we can also drop, you can see dynamically drop a name field or any, any object that we want to add. And there you see the net. Let's also dynamically add another, another column. Once again, all real-time information. We do take advantage of once queries or data sets are accessed and they're recently used by many users, or actually whether one or several, we do put those cells, individual cells, into memory and take advantage of in-memory usage tied to data persistence. And here you can see that we've just added that information all the way down to the name. And that is the tree view. Now just briefly, uh, just mentioning some of the other connectors, we've shown Teradata. Uh, our general ledger, really what we're showing in demonstration is, let's take a look at the tree, is just a pointer to component levels, the deeper levels of, in other words, based on a certain ID or account. Um, we'll just do a basic grid view just to show this to you. Based on a certain ID or account, we can drill into the posted or uh, allocated account information or whatever variables that we want that we've advertised at connected level. You'll notice that we also recognize the business process name, and we recognize these as business processes. So this is only one column. It's just a general ledger that I made. I just briefly want to show us go through PeopleSoft component interface to speak to these different variables. You can see there's quite a bit that that component, component interface offers. And you can see also we offer filtering, too. That was a drag mistake by me. It's just a basic grid and you'll see that we've brought back that information that we've just asked for and that was real time against the component tree of PeopleSoft. And maybe there's some other values that we could add in there. Let's go ahead and maybe account owner if we don't have that already. Let's see and perhaps some account type unit of measure. I mean, but you can see that we can add whatever we want and we can drill into. In this case, if we went to the next level in reporting, the account information that you see is where now I would drill into this account owner into those general ledgers. Let me clear that, and then we'll go into the next components.